to that attention like that. She said she ain't used to it, but she you know, that's why I hate dressing up or putting cool that's clothes you. on. And they be like, oh, Jay, you out here doing I'm like, nigga, you regular clothes. Shut the fuck up. Leave me alone, bro. <laughs> Are they, Jay? Yeah, they regular ass clothes. Jay, 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 Jay Ben. Oh, Combs. We both know. But we want to, but we don't do what the f we want yeah. to. We just in the alley, finna go and get it in. I know you gotta tell your friends. We only knew each other for three hours. It's a new song? Yeah. You need yours truly on it. I didn't feel like I needed it. I feel like it is. No, that's a feature song. I didn't feel like it was and I mean, and, and, and then DJ Kimmy New gonna be on that bitch too. She can. Cool. So you were truly definitely on that shit. She can, cool. but no, I don't no, think it's too late. I don't think we need to do truly. No, no, no. You start it off. Start it off. Well, we started off. Yeah, I can't roll, but we, <laughs> good. but uh, you know what I'm saying. We talking about yours truly yeah. being on. Hey, track. you know this is a different cycle. I'm using on this side. Fact. So, hey, check it out. With everything was straight. We got the cameras. Good. Hey, good. check it out. Hey, you are watching the More Than Luck podcast. I'm Fine One Two Twenty Seven, and I'm Innocence, and we got a special guest with us, DJ Kimmy New. Good job. Hey man, how, how how's your day going today? We we got a new setup for right now. That you is know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on my way out of. Uh, St. Louis, so we doing a little traveling, a little traveling podcast. So we at the lovely abode of DJ Kimmy New. Ooh. You know, so we thank you for letting you uh letting us reside in your spot and working here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Are you like you like the vocabulary? No, we're serious. We're serious. Yeah. First time no, this is exclusiveness. Yeah. You know what I mean? it's love. It's like, so Kimmy New, can you tell the, tell our audience what you actually do? I mean they I, they heard me call you a DJ, but can you tell them what you actually do? I mean, I do a lot. I do a lot. Uh, a DJ, on air and TV personality. Mm -hmm. uh, I consult with artists, I push artists, manager. Um, I'm a what 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 is what people usually tell me? I'm a walking billboard or a or walking label. Facts. Like I I do a lot. It's Some say I'm a walking lick. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, that means that's 50,000 on me. I'm a walking lick. <laughs> <lick. laughs> I'm like, ooh, mm. So, I mean, we've been knowing you for a long time. Like, we've seen your growth from, ooh. you know, actually, to, let's, if we want to go back, let's go back. Go back. Let's go back. You, back. you know, to DJ Playback. God. So, she hit me up on Twitter one day, and Damn. this is back in the day, and I really wasn't paying too much attention to it. So, we kind of interacted, but it wasn't that much. But then she came and popped up at the radio station at me and Royal oh, Marie and Isaac Kavarsi. Yeah. We had a show. You talking about goddamn yeah. Umsel Radio. Back, back in the day. So then she popped up. I'm like, hold on. I've seen you before. Ah. And then we interviewed her. And, yeah. that's, and that's when we kind of took off. And then, yeah. you know, we we always seen each other after that. And then she moved up here because you were there. Oh, yeah. I was in Joplin at first. That's, so that's yeah, a fact. And so um, after that, you just, you know, took off. You started DJing for different events, different mm -hmm. organizations. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you started blowing up and started doing clubs. Yeah. Well, yeah, hold on. Let me reverse. Let me reverse. Let me reverse. Let me reverse. Because you were doing college parties. Greek, Greek, Greek parties. Greek parties. You feel me? Greek college parties. My first party was a new party. Yo, to the rugs. They the new. Go to the new. Only the new. <laughs> well, well, this beta, beta okay. new. Beta new, you feel me? You keep nice. it on me. Mm -hmm. So, and then after that, you started doing the clubs, and after the clubs, oh, you yeah. started doing concerts. concerts. Yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah. through your growth, what had? Why did you decide that this is what you wanted to do? I mean, I mean, I knew I wanted to do this when I was in high school. Like, even though I was raised in church, and of course, you know, secular music. Ooh, um, that's a that's a no no. But I still wanted to DJ. Like, it's a passion. I yeah. didn't wanted to do it. I mean, I mean, I've been doing this for about like fourteen years. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that's, that's a child. Long Jeez. That's a child. So it's a long time. So I mean, it's just I knew I wanted to do it. Yeah. I mean, I didn't wanna. I didn't want a nine to five. I didn't want to work for anybody. I was cool with interning with people, but I knew for a fact I didn't want to work with, for anybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just was like, I want to make this a business. Even though my mama told me. Nah, my daddy was a little weary. My granny was like, what's your backup plan? What's your plan B? Fuck a plan B. Fuck it. 
Now, I'm going to go straight for my with a egg. Bucket. Yeah. Now, people don't know that like your background, like you know what I'm saying. You got your your dad. Yeah, that, you know what I'm saying. I mean, look. Yes, my dad definitely. Your dad, yeah, yeah. soft bread, soft bread, just was part of a crucial piece of that. So I can understand. Yeah. It's kind of interesting that he was kind of like weary, but I think it was because of his perspective of his his yeah. time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he was like, man, my baby girl, she she trying to do it, and oh, she yeah. gonna have her own lane. And I, I'm like, as a father, me, I'm like, she. I don't want her to go through the bullshit I went through. Like, you know what I mean? And, I still did, but mm -hmm. I mean, I was able to, just to listen to him. Mm -hmm. It was times where I did not listen to him, but the, I, it was times I did not listen to him, but other times when it was crucial, I definitely listened to him. Yeah. Like, and I'm super grateful that I did listen to him because, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, fathers and, uh, and daughters, you know, they don't see eye to eye. Yeah. They don't just click immediately. When it comes to music, me and my mm -hmm. dad is just like, we're amazing. When I seen when y'all over there. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, so what is your why though? You know, why do you why did you choose the DJ? Uh okay, we gon we gonna go back to there. Um the reason why I started DJing, well how I fell into this is because of a song, but mm. why I continue to DJ is to uplift people. Okay. Honestly. Like I, I really hmm. I, I'm a pleaser. Like, not even trying to sound like wild or crazy, but I like, it's not necessarily people pleasing, it's more so I like making people feel really good. Mm-hmm, that's what I mean. music has the power to do that. Yeah, I like, I like making people feel, mm -hmm. you know? Like we, we so numb nowadays. I like making people feel something. You gonna feel Be excited. Mm -hmm. Feel sad, feel excited. Be in your feelings, you know, reflect. I wanna, yeah. I wanna make you change. Yeah. Yeah. So that's I my, that. my wise to Okay, so what has the experience been, you know, you've been you've been doing it for fourteen years, so what has the experience been from the beginning, the middle, um, to you know, some of the things you've experienced that would cat help catapult you to more success and then, you know, now. Uh remember I did tell you I listened to my dad, but uh being able to network with good people yeah. and still being humble, don't get me wrong, you know, I'm, I'm very confident because mm -hmm. I put in this work to be that, you know, there was no, I kind of want to do this or I'm kind of, I don't, I'm I, no, I, I know and I'm grateful to still be able to do this, but if if I didn't listen to my mentors, yeah. my dad, DJ Charlie Chan, uh, shoot, King Odie, or County Brown, County Brown more so the streets, shit, County, mm -hmm. that's soul, that's life. Mm -hmm. that's, like he teaches me to, not necessarily to think more, but I have to think higher while I'm DJing. I can be, you know, kicking in and jamming and, you know, drinking yeah. and, and just doing all that, but at the end of the day, I still have to be careful about what I play and how I play it to the people. Mm. So that's a fact. The DJ like where I'm from, it, they, I'm not gonna name it, but it's a DJ that knows how to make a crowd fight. We all should you know? to do that, but mm -hmm. that's not. It, it shouldn't. Be, should I mean, be. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so you know what songs you're gonna play, so you, that's gonna start that you know oh, yeah. whole yeah. situation, so that you can go home early. And that's how I look at it. Sometimes, like I know that's what he probably does. You know, but um, what are some things as a DJ that you should look out for? You know, just starting out, even as you, you know, I mean, if you start out and you don't know your worth, I mean, you're gonna get played a little bit. Yeah. But if you start now, um, what can I say? Starting now, remain hungry, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, stay humble. I mean, because you honestly don't know what you're doing, yeah. and if you do know what you're doing, you still gotta be humble about it. But know your worth in the beginning too. Um, what else should you know in the beginning starting off? Don't ever use the same button. <laughs> I'm dead ass. Don't ever use the same button when you DJ. Why is that? Because I mean you, you lose this you you lose hella respect. You lose hella respect. You know I'm not a DJ, I don't use the same button though. You know what I'm saying? I I'm, not a DJ. <laughs> I'm DJ such and such. DJ such and such. Book hey book them out for your, you know you uh, cat's wedding or something uh, like that. Bar mistress. Hey, I'm definitely top 2,000 DJ in the city. <laughs> top 2,000. 2000. No, <laughs> top 2,000. I was like, damn. 
Hey, at first I was like, hold on. Oh, oh no, that makes sense. Man, it's about okay, you know what? Okay. So, you okay. know, another thing to go along with the next that last question was um what what's some things to look out for, but like as a DJ, like cost and sacrifice. Yeah. You know, what what were your costs that you had to look out for? Because I know as a photographer, I Corey Lampe used to tell me before you buy anything, you need to know what type of photography you're trying to get into because you will start spending money that you will spend on things you don't need. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, see, I want to say it's standard the same thing, but it's like when you first started, mm -hmm. you shouldn't, it's, it's weird because it's like when I first started, I had like a new, I had a Newmark uh, CDJs. It was like, well, CD player. I had a CD player, a mixer, and a CD player, literally. Mm -hmm. that's, when I began, that's when I began, but if you starting out now, it's best to start off with a controller. It's, it's best to start off with your, your, your main, like, between $200 and $400 controller. But, I mean, you know, you got them DJs that be like, shoot, I want to spend $1,000 on this. I want to I wanna get turntables. Yeah. It all depends on how they I'm feel. It, it doesn't really... It, I, I want to just say, yeah, start off with a, with a Pioneer or start off with a Gemini or start off with something else. But it's like it depends on what you want to do. Like I can say, oh yeah, just get some CDJs or just get a get a controller. You got DJs right now that's just like they they rocking controllers right now. But you got DJs and pioneer DJs that's going hard with turntables. Mm -hmm. Turntables obviously cost the most, and you know controllers can range from. So what do you have to say about a DJ like that can't scratch? Oh, they're just not able to. Let's, okay. Oh, I'm not mad at that. No, no, because it's a different style. style. Are, they, are they classified as a DJ still? Yes. They, I'm not going to say that. I will say they're still classified as a DJ, just not a, a top DJ, not a phenomenal DJ. So can they still charge? They still, they can, no, they can't charge the same shit that I'm charging. They can't charge, charge the same shit that Charlie charging. What the fuck? Especially if you're just in the beginning or especially well, if you What if they've been doing it for a minute, they just don't scratch? How long? Been a minute. Let's just What's say seven minute? years. Ooh. They just don't scratch. They just flip songs. I mean, you know, there's an intermediate, and then there is like the, novice and advanced. And, and then, then you got your chemistry you stuff. Yeah. Look, I'm just grateful. I'm more, you know, I'm, I'm like just grateful a, to be here. <laughs> he's like, he like yeah, Kimmy Newstead. I'm like, I'm, I'm like an intermediate. You feel me? I just don't know how to scratch. That's where you at, and that's fine. DJ said this such. That's fine. I mean, as long as you. I told you top two thousand. As long as long as you know how to do a little blending, and if you don't even know how to blend, if you know how to fade in correctly, My filter fade in. I'm like a filter DJ. Fade in and fade out, fade no. out and fade in. Because no. I'm a filter DJ. I'm a filter DJ. So when you put <laughs> make something in the water, that's it. I'm I'm there with it. I get you. I get you together. <laughs> I will get you together, Jay. real quick. Jay. So, what has been like your favorite favorite event you DJ or your let's act do favorite event and favorite artist because you did do a tour in Vegas. Let's talk about it. And Houston. first off, because okay. when she left, I didn't like leave she Vegas. left. That was I look look look. I didn't. I, I don't think six. I called anybody. I I called maybe like. I like told less than two, 10 people. Less, bro, I'm less like, than two, 10 people. She like, should I go? I said, if you stay, I'm not playing with you. Like, bro, you yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, international is the goal. Like, you are worth it. So, like, mm -hmm. go and fight for that mug. And then if you come back, you come back. But I bet you your experience is 10 times more. And that resume going to speak different. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, before I left, the resume still spoke different. Talk your shit then. It's mm -hmm. not even talking shit. Other, it's facts. It, 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 no, it's facts. It's facts. It's facts. But you know what I'm saying? Facts. Like you, can, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the, you know, a lot of people can't say that. A lot of people can't say that. Okay. Some people ain't got, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kimmy New bring people to the party. A lot of DJs can't bring people to the party, but I'm not going there. You know what I'm saying? Some people ain't got their own special drops. What's been drops. your favorite event that you've done so far? My favorite event that I've done. Mm, yeah, played. You guys were the use. Played. Yeah. Favorite event? Mm. In the last years I've DJed? No. Or just we, this oh, year? Oh, 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 like, oh, 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 all together, you know? You got Lifetime 365? Man, y'all. Yeah, you doing silent parties, you going all out. I you mean, I love those, okay? I'm the queen of those. Mm, chocolate. Walk it like a chocolate. What do you mean? Like, y'all I, I can, can go on the page if it's still there, but y'all can go on the page and see, like, everything is well, blue. Everything is blue. Everything be blue. Which, I, what I mean is, I'm the color blue when I'm DJing for different silent parties. And, like. So, when you say the silent party, are your favorite? 
now, right now, I can say right now, Silent Party is my favorite. Second one is. Concerts. Okay. Concerts. So tell it's us, like, tell us, because you didn't do some concerts. You I didn't do a lot of concerts. I didn't mean, do free band. Oh, <laughs> well, hey, now that's a whole nother ball. Free band. Hey, look, that was a good connection at the time. But it shows First, what I get you married need. Money, then I fell in love with the dirty. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was a good it's connection. Still, 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 still. Did you play that song? No, I don't. You do what you want when you pop I'm saying what you want. When I was doing that, yeah. Do what you want. Hey. Yeah, funny. Funny. But that, but but that, like on a serious note, people gotta understand that like that was a good if you not, so did you get to hang out with Future? That was the good connection. That's what yes, I was gonna say. That was the good like, connection. So did you ever rap his lyrics to him? I'll do it. I wouldn't have been a one on my lyrics to him. No, I'm saying his lyrics. Like, hey, bro, you got this. is What you said. You know? Look, I was the only female. Talk in to there, him. Talk to him. So, so I couldn't do that. I couldn't, couldn't do that. look. 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 Okay. Look. Excuse yourself, real quick. Go get that phone so they can hear this drop. So like, like did, did he say something? Like, hey, like what it do, little mama? It's your boy Youngin. Louis Vuitton luggage. Uh, do you think he was gonna call himself a Youngin? Hey, that's a young bird, is it? That's the bird. That's your bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hit maybe. He got a lot of songs. Here it is out. Now, where the lies? Where the lies at? Now, now, you know when we do drops, DJs, you know full facts. You trying, you gotta get him this, get him or her to say what you want them to say. No, I didn't get him to say that. He just said it. And you be telling what people what to do. But he do was, I mean, talking. but he was right. He was right because at the same time, like he kind of like had me fucked up, and he knew he had me fucked yeah. up. But I didn't like. I didn't. I didn't. Excuse I didn't disrespect him at all. It was just looking at him like, no, moving forward, gonna continue to just talk to you like you are just a person mm -hmm. because he's still he's, he's, he's still, still a human. Yeah, he's human. So. Yeah. I was just like, this is what I need you to do. I need to drive. I said, I said, I need you to talk right in here. He was just like, damn. I mean, he was just like, nobody ain't ever tell me like just like what to do. Like it wasn't like I was just like being forceful. It was just like, this is what you gonna assertive. do. Yeah, it was a, that's it's it. Like, it's like, this is what you're gonna do. This is what I see. It's the difference between being assertive and overbearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, just, I was assertive. Yeah. I mean, but I was grateful and thankful. But it, was, it was all good. He was straight. But that's the power of networking. Because you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what people got to do. You're doing something for him. You feel me? You're getting his crap together. At now, that time. Line? Where's my line? At that time. It was one. just great ass networking. Networking. Yeah. Just great ass networking. Like but then the you had a job to do. And you did it. Like and networking is about what delivering on what you delivering say on what you say you gonna to get more access. That's right? it. So, um, what is one thing you wish you could have done but you didn't do in your past? It's like one event you could have wished you were a DJ or an artist you had a chance to work with, mm -hmm. and you just had other things that, or you may have dropped the ball. Um. I had a I had a group of artists at one time, mm -hmm. and I was very hard. I was very hard, and I don't think I communicated effectively enough. And I, I honestly dropped the ball on one of my artists at the time because I was doing a lot, but I was just like, I need you to do this, I need you to do that, I need you to do this, I need you to do this, and it's like he was ready. But he wasn't, mm -hmm. and I wasn't. I, I didn't accept that he wasn't ready. But he was trying his fucking hardest. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give him that. But it's just like the things I needed him to do. He wasn't attacking them. He was like kind of like being a little timid, mm -hmm. and I, I didn't like that. And at the time, like I said, I was I was I was working so much. Like being a female DJ in the city, and being one of the top female DJs in the city, Fair. working constantly. Like, I didn't, I didn't have a female DJ. To look, I didn't have a female DJ to look, that looked like me yeah. to look up to. Fair. So I had to go hard. I had to break barriers. I had to br break doors down, not ask without fucking a sucking. I had to get it done the hard way. 
like the real, the, the, the real sure. way. So it was just like it's like I had to be the example all the damn time. Performance. So it was just like, yo, I need you to do this when I ask you to do this. And if you drop the ball on this, I'm gonna be disappointed as fuck. Mm -hmm. And I should have been more understanding. So I definitely yeah. okay. I, I dropped the ball by not being understanding and not not I, I guess not fully paying attention and not um but that yeah. some people don't have the same urgency as you do. Facts. And you can't be mad at that. Facts. I can't. Right? And I, like I told you. And I, it's like you can I, understand. You can understand, time. but that doesn't make it okay. Yeah. You feel me? It's like, if you, because you already got what you want, right? Or you you got what you needed for the time. So you're at a certain level. Yeah. However, they're trying to get where you at. Mm -hmm. So I can't, I can't move, make you drink. I can't make you drink the water. But I can put I you can in the right positions yeah. to be successful. Damn and if right. and if you fall and drop the ball, okay, well guess what? You only got a certain amount of time you can fall and drop the ball where I gotta say, you know what? I gotta move on yeah. and I gotta bring somebody else for it because they don't really want it. You know, I was watching this uh documentary yesterday, the U Miami University, it's like sir like even back in my time. When you got hurt, you didn't want to get off the field because somebody behind you was gonna be better. Yeah. You feel they've been waiting for their opportunity. So it's a lot of people waiting for the opportunity, but being in certain places, knowing certain people, you feel like you take them for granted. And the opportunity is just like, no, my nigga, you can't take this for granted because guess what? The person behind them does not know you. They don't. And so you got to act like you don't even know the person in front of you. And that's why I navigate like I do, so I can get where I can. Because if, if I know Dan, I'm not going to treat him like I know him. And I'm trying to do a service. Now, we just friend, buddy, buddy, okay, I can expect certain things. But business has business. Ed, has different expectations than friendship. And I know, and that's wow. that's what we need for each other. Like, and so for me, me, I'm really cut and dry. As I as I matured and got more experience, I'm really cut and dry. And I'm solution and results based. So what are we going to do to get this result? Mm -hmm. if, if we can't find it, then I got to go find it somewhere else. No hard feelings. Yeah, no. But it's honestly, if there's no hard feelings, I have to go. Honestly, this energy is not going to be here while I'm finding this other, how I'm trying to complete this task. Right? I come back, we can be cool, but guess what? I won't lean on you for certain things anymore yep. because that's just business. Yeah. And so that's what I had to learn. So on your way, what do you think that, uh, what was that, like what type of time management was needed? Self-discipline, um, social engagement, those type of things. What was needed for you to become DJ Kimmy new? Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and tag because it it's all the same. What does the expansion look like? Like, and how important is that? Expansion is always important, especially with what I do. Well, honestly, in this industry, it's all of what you, it's all of what you make it. Honestly, you have people that just want to be the hometown hero. You got people that want to just mm -hmm. you know be uh, want to just. A rap or a DJ in front of their friends. You got people that just want to be known. Two hundred people know them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you just want the block to know you. It's Ooh. certain people. It's certain That's people true. that want certain things. Right, so it's just like, if I want to be worldwide, international, then I need to make sure I break away from home. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Or I got to do different things. Period. I got to be open to do different things that I've never done before. If you want to be, if you want to do something that you've never done. You gotta be willing to do things that you. You gotta never be willing done. to do things you never done. <laughs> like, yeah. It's just like, oh man, I want to be international. Well, you gotta make sure you get in that position to be international. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't. I wouldn't be able to be international if I only DJ'd one goddamn genre. Mm -hmm. Fact. No, we talk. We talk about that. I mm -hmm. can't do that. Like, That's fact. Um, like, I, no, I'm an I open format DJ. I DJ goddamn every everything. goddamn thing. Like, yeah, diversify your portfolio. You Just have to. The, to to even get there, to even be seen. I mean, the, to be able to be nominated and for uh, for the top 100 female DJs in the world That's what was it. big. Mm -hmm. It was big to me. Mm -hmm. They pissed me off, but it was huge to me. And they know why. Lovelies. Um, I mean, look, they're. What they were and what they did, it was amazing. I just didn't like the, uh, you, you guys know when y'all got your own website and you got a lot of people coming to the website. Mm -hmm. And, and sometimes, you know, you know, your website might, you know, kind of like not necessarily crash, but be on a, on a delay. Mm -hmm. It was like, dang, like anytime I was trying to get the, my people to vote, they were like, we can't vote, we can't vote. It's, 
they just we came over right now and I was just like I contact them like what is going on? I'm having all traffic going on. But at the end of the day I was still great with opportunity. But the reason why I even was able to be they they made a page for me, but the reason why I was able to even get nominated or get seen or noticed is because I had it I DJed a college party, but I DJ DJed a college party in Maryville. Mm -hmm. That's predominantly white. white yeah. So imagine me with more than six hundred white people. Mm -hmm. Oh cool. And I was rocking the hell out this party. I had a phenomenal time. I'm like this wasn't. Look at you. Oh, all that. <laughs> I played all oh, those. I played I old jams. I mean, I played. Look, I, I, I had. If you want to say one of my favorite parties, it was that one. Okay. Um, but it was because of that party why I even got noticed oh, in that situation. Crazy thing. Well, my favorite party is gonna be with Sick Talk. Glow in the dark. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Whoa, back to college? Like, one of my favorite parties ever. Like, so people don't even understand just, the history oh, of Omsu. Jesus. And okay, the, the what the era that was yeah. there. And the crazy thing, like i you know, I, I'm working on this project right now, I can't name it right now. Oh. But I'm hanging around with people that only went to a certain college. Mm -hmm. And it's like whether you say that you went somewhere else, they look try to look down and it's just like the thing that you don't get to experience. Just because you're in one sector. Yeah. So everything you do, you'll see the same amount of people, you'll see the same people, you get the same results. Mm -hmm. But when you are able to expand and see other different cultures and see how they get down, mm -hmm. it's a whole different ball game. So now you can you know somebody because everybody ain't from the same college. I mean same city from the same college, first of all. Mm -hmm. So you can meet learn. somebody from California mm -hmm. which builds connections out to Brazil. I'm just telling you from what I know. Mm -hmm. Being at Webster. So wait. What was the before the expansion question? Oh. It was another question. Well, what, I got what, what was needed. needed? What was, what was needed? needed? I mean, I had yeah. to be. I had to be willing to sacrifice. I had to sacrifice seeing friends. I had to sacrifice uh, sleep sometimes. Even mm -hmm. though sleep is really more, is now more important than anything. Stop playing. I know people be like, "Man, you sleep when you did." Uh uh Self love, self care, sleep. I can't be mad at that. Cause you can be active and productive. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Um, I had to sacrifice. Uh, I mean, I had to do certain fasts to get ready. Yeah. I okay, had to yeah, cut yeah. off like social media friends. I had uh, some weird ass conversations I couldn't entertain. Mm -hmm. um, I I couldn't be around certain people anymore. Yep. I lost hella friends. Right. That's why well, it, it's part of it's part of the process. You need that because you know yeah. what I'm saying. That's how you that's how you yeah. branch out and grow. Like when you was uh, when you start when you was getting ready to move and stuff. And I'm like, so don't look like we were talking about being the best DJ. Um, you she kept using female. I was like, sus, no. Oh, he kept saying no. 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 Don't say female. Say like I said, DJ. look up the top DJs, period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And look at what they are playing and how they are diversified, and figure out how to make sure that you had that in your repertoire. Yeah. Outside of that, because I w I don't even want to be classified as. I hear people say, oh, not only are they the first photographer, but they're the first black photographer. I'm I'm Jamaris. You feel me? All that other stuff don't matter. I'm just, I am who I am, and I don't need the other accolades. Cause that that shit is just you know luster to the suit to the suit. That shine and glitz that don't matter to me. And you know, so that's just me. That's a sidebar. I'll cut that out. You know, that makes sense. Um, but we going to the spit fire round. Spit fire. Spit fire. Okay. You know you want me uh, doing bars. No bars. I'm gonna say I'm like, <laughs> no I'm bars. Like, I'm I gotta be around when you jump in. So, um, <laughs> is there anybody you would like to meet or work with? Ooh. I mean, dead or alive? Mm-hmm. Oh, Mm-hmm. Dead or alive? Oh. This is gonna be nice. I don't like that you said dead or alive. Uh, I'm gonna just choose alive. Hmm. You know what? That might be dead. Well, just for safe. Just not. Not even being safe. My favorite artist is still Chris Brown. Okay. And I would love to meet Chris Brown and I would love to meet Erica right, Badu. Right. I still haven't met Erica Badu, but I mean, to be, I'm grateful to be compared. I'm, I'm grateful when people be like, man, you give me that Erica Badu feel. And it's just like, that's dope. I can't wait to meet her. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's dope. So I'm gonna meet Erica Badu and Chris Brown. I feel that. If you're gonna be in a movie, what type of movie would you be in? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Cause I picture in like something like Crush Groove. 
Really? I don't know what that is. Do you know Crush you know the movie Crush Groove? Speak to me. So alright, so Crush Groove is uh the kind of like the story between behind Sheila E, um, the Fat Boys, uh uh Run DMC. Oh, I, wow. You know what? I can't believe I did this, but I uh what's that DJ show that was on Netflix? Oh, uh, rhythm and no, 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 not that. Uh, not rhythm and flow. No, uh, no. it's the it's the hip hop. It's the hip hop behind. Not, you listen to no, well, no, I didn't see that. That was really good. No, no it was a. Oh my god, I can't believe that. I can't remember this. I got the opportunity to. I missed it, but I got the opportunity to uh, be casted as a be casted and casted as an extra. I was just like, I didn't. Dropped the goddamn bowl, but the wild part is the fact that I can't remember the damn show. Just it just tells me that it, it might it might come back. So mm -hmm. hey, I'm gonna just be quiet on that. Just... Well, you're talking about movies. Oh, you said yeah. I'm talking about shows. You're talking about movies. If it was if I was in a movie, what type of movie? Drama. Drama. Oh, drama. drama. Interesting. What is the first thing you do or think of when you wake up in the morning? Mm -hmm. First thing I do. Or wait, or think of when you wake up in the morning. Mm. The last like three days is what I need to be doing. Okay. What I need to be doing. Like yeah. I think about either exercising or I think, of, or um, I to me, I will immediately start listening to what's going on around me. Okay. I mean, living. Even downtown, you be hearing the most wildest things in the morning. I mm -hmm. tell you, but I I can't even I can't even play games. Like I got inspired living down here. Nope. So just I got inspired by a few things in the morning. Yeah. Just not not like that. But I'm just saying I got inspired <laughs> by a few things in the so morning. Shit, like so I listen to some things like outside. Like some days I sleep on my couch. Mm -hmm. I mean, I used to furnish. Not my couch, couch, but my couch. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> I am dead. Here go. I mean, shit. My room be dark. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I got all like, I got oh, big, man. huge windows over here. Like, what? Yeah. All right. So, hot or cold? Hot. All right. I got this. Hot. Emos or pie? Emos. Okay. Okay. They gotta be good. What are your favorite pair of shoes? <sighs> Chucks. Okay. Favorite Still drink? Like favorite drink. Wine. What okay. kind? Okay. Sangria. But if we want to go through the liquor, it's always going to be Jack Honey, Tennessee. Uh, favorite sports team? <laughs> it's, favorite, it's all, you know what's crazy? Uh, uh, favorite sports team has always been the Lakers. Not because of what happened. It's, it's just wild because I was just playing, I was just playing Kobe, uh, um, uh, street hoops. Stop. Street she hoops. Went to street too. hoops. Oh, jeez. Kobe. So that's just. One. She didn't win. That's yeah, I mean, yeah, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I, hey, I gotta, uh, it's Xbox 360. I will play this. I will still play that game. Like, I, I love, I love sport games. That's weird. Okay. Uh, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, if I had a superpower, it would be. Oh, no, it wouldn't be that. Lord, I almost thought it was. Read your mind. No, it wouldn't be that. Well, yeah, I was, I was on that. I did that. I ain't um, playing no games. I want to know. <laughs> no, down there, I think it'd probably be. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would either be extra strength or, or flying. Okay, that's cool. Um, if, if you you were on an island, stuck, what three things you gonna bring? Ooh, mm -hmm. stuck. Stuck. Now I'm not saying you can't get off. I'm just saying it ain't easy in Jay's eyes. So, <laughs> so you figure it out from there. <laughs> Stuck. Stuck. Do I have service? How you gonna have service? You figure it out. Yes, you can have service. The reality is, yes, satellite phones are there. Unless you're in the Bermuda Triangle, you should be able to figure it out. But oh my God. Okay, cool. This is serious. Like it wouldn't be the phone then if I couldn't. Mm -hmm. but. Stuck on. I'm stuck on the real island, so what three things that I, what I, what I want? Um, definitely some music. It'll be, I'll definitely bring my laptop. Um, 
Yeah. Don't you do it. Don't you take that away from my He's going to do it. He's going to do Oh, you see how Jay take away your life? That was good. You see how Jay take away your life? Okay, so 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 it's not like it's sound like no electronic can be on this first island. off so, okay you can so. create natural electricity you just gotta know how and all i'm saying is i don't know how all right then oh, it's reality i don't know how okay reality I, stuff he, I mean he's taking it he ripping it um definitely would take can take nothing but your hat huh <laughs> already so it'd definitely be a boat yeah. it would definitely be some wine and it would definitely can it can it be a partner actually uh, i brought a partner mm -hmm. I, would, I would never brought wine no i never bring wine because you can throw up off of wine That's not my no no love no love no love I, look I, I eat vegetables my nigga Wait, you think i, I don't eat stuff what is it what you, what you mean, mean? on the island, island? Bro, there's. It's, it's, you, are you saying it's only it's sand? sand there, nigga? No, this is an island. I can eat trees. I eat didn't... trees with no problem. I eat trees now. You didn't say it was vegetables on an island. Who are you? So we. So yeah, you, you mean? See how you shot to plant the plant the vegetables? No, no if you're on an island, island it's, it's already, already natural trees food and, and fruits and all kinds of shit on the trees. Well, you're on a remote island. What do you mean? And they all gonna have they, some they fruits or vegetables, something on that mug already do. naturally grown. So hers do. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I guess, I guess I do. I guess I do. So we end the weekdays. Weekdays. All right. Weekdays. Uh, the last question. How would you like to be remembered? <clears throat> How I am now. How I like to be remembered. I like to be remember how I am now. Uh, what I'm getting to say is not to my own horn. It's just what I know about myself. I'm a thinker. I'm a. I, I lift people. Like even when I don't want to lift people, I still uplift them. Mm -hmm. um, I grace people with love. I'm genuine. I'm honest. I've been told I'm too damn honest, but. The truth sets me free, and I know the truth can damn where help anybody out. It's just how you say it. It's just how you say it. Mm -hmm. But um, look, right? It is. Um, definitely a lover. Okay. So yeah, I mean, everything I named, I can name so much more, but yeah, that. I mean, so, something real. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so our last segment is this, right? You know, so when you posted this, what did it mean? So, I was there actually this day. I feel like I took this picture. You did I was, not? I didn't take this one. Kevin. I think I took another picture. Kevin. I was there the same night. And Kevin no, C. I got video Johnson. that night. I was doing video that night. Kevin C. Johnson made it, took a picture of this. Because he made sure he told, he made sure. Yeah. He made sure. So, what, did that, what did that mean to you when you posted it? You did great. Thank you, that's my job. Cause I don't even think I, is this photo even on there anymore? Yes sir. All right, cool, that's great. Well, this day was when I won um, Best Hip Hop DJ in St. Louis, Talk 2017. Talk to him. Um, I earned this. I earned this. I didn't even know I was gonna win, that's the wild part because Usually you know if you're gonna win. I didn't I didn't get an interview so I didn't know if I was gonna win or not. So I was on stage yeah, already. You just got um, done DJing? I just got done I just got done DJing. Yeah, for somebody said uh, somebody said well, then I think it was Chris Grimes set. Yep. And shout out to Chris Grimes. And um Yeah. I was DJing and then they wanted to announce the uh, best hip hop DJ. Mm -hmm. And then the wild part is, is somebody was just like, I didn't know what was next just yet. But they was like, man, you might as well stay up here. I was like, for what is Smitty's turn? So as I was uh, leaving, um, he said, he named the nominees. And yeah, my name was called. And I thought he was joking mm -hmm. at first because I was just like, 
I really didn't know. Now, don't get me wrong. I did make a whole status probably like months ago talking about something. I don't win this award. And the reason why I made that status is because I felt like at the time I worked my ass off underground, commercial. Like, I was featured on so much stuff. But at the same time, I worked my ass off that year. I mean, I was DJing for MMA fights. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I mean, but I'm breaking St. Louis artists yeah. at these events. I mean, facts. Like, it wasn't no, facts. and I wasn't getting paid to do it. It's because yeah. I wanted to. I wanted to push the culture forward. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I felt amazing. I felt amazing that day. I felt amazing that day. So, you know, something is just a funny one. You know what I'm saying? We all grew up. And you know, from my past, I did have, I blonde, I did have blonde, blonde hair, skinny jeans, all the time. You did. Yeah, I was you did. One time, I was hot, boy. And I never got to this phase where I got a grill, you know. And so when you got you got this grill, what did you, you know, I mean, what look, was the vibe? Shout outs to St. Louis STL Grills. Oh my God, oh my God. This is an addicted dopeness. Okay. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I made sure I represented when I was outside. Oh my God, I look so young in this photo. But yeah, I look just like this photo all the same time. Um, we're at Club 15. Ooh, um, who took this photo? Toon. Toon. Oh, no, I'm not saying he's an old head, but he's an older photographer that used to. Old uh, head. <laughs> they used to take photos at anything he did for Chris Creed. He was the photo. He was the photographer for it before you know, Chris started doing that. But yeah, yeah, like that was a good time. Yeah. That was uh, this, this was great. I mean, this was fun. Yeah. I mean, like I said, shout out to STL Grills because they definitely sponsored it. Yeah, for real. And I appreciated it. Yeah. And I just got done getting my DJ Kimmy new uh, vest, so I was popping. Now I don't. I think we need to touch this because what is the story behind the name DJ Kimmy new? Yes, because people don't know. Well, uh, people don't know my real name, uh, but it actually is on my Facebook. Uh, people did not know how to pronounce my real name, and it was just it was horrible. So. Uh, people will call me uh, Kim Possible. My uh, my eighth grade teacher used to call me Kim Possible. I was like, God damn it, fuck it, we're just gonna go with it. And uh, people didn't know how to pronounce my name at all. They used to just mess it all the way up, Kimia, Kimia, all that. And one of my um, one of my friends was just like, we're just gonna call you Kimmy. And I was just like, well, that works. That works. And it and it did. That's just who I was, mm -hmm. who, who I became. And the new, uh, I bet my aunt, shout out to my aunt, uh, Miss. Mm, yeah. That's my aunt. I right, cool. Shout out to my aunt. She uh, and she's been calling me new since I was two. I know that's that rhymes, but she literally been calling me new for so long. And when I was being called DJ Playback, I realized I was just like somebody else has this name, not in the city. But somebody else has this name. I don't. I don't think I'd be able to trademark this name. So I was just like, well, I, people call me Kimmy, mm -hmm. and my aunt has always called me New, and I just put it together. And I was just like, it sounded weird at first. Well, it sounded a little off, but in the beginning. But I just started. It just. It just. It had a ring. I had a mm -hmm. ring to it. So mm -hmm. I just DJ Kimmy New, and that's how I yeah, got my name. It was like it really was between DJ Kimmy New and DJ Playback. And playback, I mean, I was being called that already. That's why that just that just attached that to my AKA name at the mm -hmm. time. But it's just, I was like, y'all, I need, it needs to be my name. Mm -hmm. I don't want anybody I mean, else to real say, real. oh, that's DJ Playback. Well, that's DJ Playback. Oh, fuck that. I didn't want that. I was like, I want to be original. Mm -hmm. So, DJ Kimmy New. That's true. Well, we appreciate y'all tuning in. This is the More Than Love Podcast. Yes. Uh, pay attention to the links. Follow the links. Like, subscribe the page and we appreciate y'all tuning in look out for more content we got pushing out and uh that's Dropping it all heat. Dropping all heat. that's a fact one love appreciate you